So I've got this book and it's a little different than what you're used to. This is driving me nuts. Okay. So, <laughs> so I've got this book and it's a little different than what you're used to. Okay. I want your first impressions of how it looks. You ready? Okay. Was that a... Yeah. Okay, you may hold it. Untold Bible stories for kids. Untold? No. There are some Bible stories that were told. <laughs> That's not what it means. It means maybe the stories in this book you haven't been told yet. Ooh, so then it's like interesting, right? All right. So what do you think first off when you look at it? It looks so cool. It looks so cool? You like the colors and everything? Read this the... is the first page. Okay. Is the first page easy to read? You're seven, you're in first grade. You read pretty, oh, pretty. I mean, you spell dedicated like this. Yes, you do. D I. Like I said, you, that's where his strong suit is. So don't compare everybody. You know, he's got his weaknesses too, you guys. But his strong suit is definitely reading. That's the reason I always like to get his first impressions of a book. So when you read this book, is it easy to read? Go past the dedication page and go to like the first story, and you tell me if it's all, if it's easy. Table to read. of content. Okay, go past the table of contents. Worst hair day ever. Okay, so this sounds like there might be a little bit of humor in this book, right? Yeah. Look, see? Who, that... do, you, who do you think they're talking about? Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> who, do you, who do you think they're really talking about? King David. With long hair King like Rapunzel. David was, this must be an untold story if you don't know who had what man had <laughs> long hair. Thank you, Elijah. Maybe um, it's Rapunzel's um, maybe it's Rapunzel's um, brother. Brother, yeah. I love this book already because it means we found a story that you haven't ran across yet at seven years of age. That it's an untold story to Elijah. Thank you, Elijah. You're welcome. Okay, so this is Untold Bible Stories for Kids by Erica Vos. And Erica, I'm so sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly because I've got to name people screw up all the time. But anyways, the reason I wanted to start the video with my son's first impressions, and I do not in any way want to insult the illustrator okay because I consider myself some kind of an artist <laughs> in the most hysterical sense everyone has a different different interpretation okay of what art is and what is what what is a great kid-friendly um, piece of art and I want you to keep in mind my son's reaction because sometimes we as parents we look at a book like this and we say oh it doesn't look like veggie tales Oh yeah, but you know what? My son might not like it because it doesn't look like um, it doesn't look like Superbook. Oh, my daughter might not like it because it doesn't look like um, Heroes and Friends. Keep in mind what my son did. My son immediately liked it. He immediately thought it was funny and engaged. He was immediately engaged. So when you look at this book, do not turn away from it in any way. Give it a chance, okay? So, as you saw when he opened it up, it was it was easy for him to read. Now, my son does, that's his strong suit, is reading, okay? Don't let that discourage your children, okay? I want you to look at the table of contents. Worst hair day ever. Bear attack. Paul's long sermon. Cooking with poop. Ew. The fat king. The talking donkey. He shouldn't have gone in there. Have you ever seen a walking skeleton? Finding mom and the strangest wrestling match ever. If that doesn't tell you that there's a little bit of sense of humor going on here, and I'm sorry for the glare, I haven't, I'm, I'm not able to get to my regular room, but worst day ever, of course, we know who we're talking about, don't we? Absalom was King David's son. He was handsome prince with thick, long red hair. We're not talking about uh, Rapunzel's brother. Absalom thought he would make 
a great king and could not wait to rule the land, so he decided to try to take the kingdom from his father. Now King David knew this was not what God wanted, so he sent his men after Absalom. And as you can see, this is one of those untold stories. You know, the first time I think my daughter heard this story, I think she was about 17. I think that's what she told me, that, that mom, I had never heard this story. She was at a conference and Jensen Franklin preached on it and she was so moved by the story. So how great is it that we're bringing this story to little kids? So I really want you to take a stroll through this book, okay? I want you to look at the illustrations. I want you to look at the stories, okay? I'm sorry, this is literally, this is one of my favorite stories as a mom. <laughs> this is one of my favorite stories. Um, if you hear my kids goofing off in the background, well, that's just real life. So I love this book. Um, it's 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 just a great book. Um, I, I, I really, <laughs> I was kind of nervous <laughs> about it. Um, do you see? We've got the bear, we've got the kids, but we don't have bloodshed, okay? No bloodshed, all right? No bloodshed, so don't be scared, all right? Don't be scared, you're gonna traumatize your children. You're never gonna traumatize your children with the word of God, okay? You, you just won't. If you, if, you, if you tell them the stories that are in this, honestly, you will find they are more interested than they are disgusted or, fe or scared, okay? Now, that's the great thing about the Word of God is that God is love and He wrote this Word and He said, Come unto me, all the, all the ye, ye little children, okay? He knows exactly who He wrote this Word for, okay, guys? So send it to them. Start reading it to them. Start reading Cooking with Poop. It's so disgusting. Oh my gosh, it's so gross. But you know what? Boys are going to find that hysterical. Boys that would might not otherwise be engaged with the Bible are going to be so excited to hear about this book. And I want you to keep in mind, when you buy this book, you are going to be supporting a mom just like you. Not a mom that's rich, not a mom that is, you know, in the top 10 bestseller. You're, you're supporting a mom that is doing a ministry, okay? Look at this. I'm sorry, but this is just, I, I was really nervous because you never know what you're gonna get when you get these books. And when you get various things, um, you just you just never know. You, it's just, it's just you know. And I got this and was just blown away. I mean, look at this. Look. Give these dry bones life. Hallelujah. And these stories are the very stories. These are the very stories, guys. These are the stories that engage our children. This story. If you don't know what it is, I'm not going to tell you. You got to buy the book. You got to find it in your Bible. This story is what touched my heart as a child. This is the story that as a child made me want to start reading the Bible. This is the story that I went to my mom and said, can you get me the really pretty precious moments Bible at, um, at the, the bookstore please? And I got a precious moments Bible with my name on it and everything the following Christmas all because I wanted to hear about this. I wanted to hear about King Solomon. I wanted to hear what kind of man would say, okay, well, you know, we'll just cut the baby in half. And that wind up being a genius thing to say to two women because who would ever let that happen to their kid? So I want you to give this book a try. Again, Untold Bible Stories for Kids by Erica Vos. Okay, you'll find more information about it on my blog. It'll be there. Please just check this book out. It's so great.